are playing low tiers that now their character is buffed and they're not playing them, right? You also have people that are playing that were playing a decent character in Smash 4 and they were good with them, and then now in Ultimate that character is amazing. Yep. And they're not playing them; they're opting for other characters. Yeah. And or their or their low tier got buffed to a high tier, and yep. I find it so funny they're not playing those characters because it's like all they ever say is, "Oh, this character can't do this or that anymore; they're bad." It's like how uh, all the, a lot of Bale mans are saying Bale isn't too good anymore. Mistake was still making Bale look pretty nice. Yeah. Get top eight at uh, that glitch, and. Uh, I think a lot of that's a result of just there being so much more balance to this game. Not yep. a lot of characters are as mu have a, as much of a gap in terms of how viable they are. Yeah. So. Um, don't know if Ori's heading over here or not. Yeah. If you need to hop off, I can hold down the port until he gets over here. Um, I think he's still cleaning up. Yeah, shouldn't be too much longer, though. You gents should look out that window. Snow? Yo, let's go. That looks like garbage outside. Give me a long drive home, man. Oh, yeah. What's that? Snowboarding weekend? Yes, please. Hog champ. Um, looks like I'm in it for another set. Okay. Looks like it. Two losers finals. We got best three losers finals coming out here. Uh, Town City. Not a bad situation here for your Snake. Yep. Problem is, you can't really be sitting back with grenades because you're going to have Pikmin coming at you all the time. Yeah, pretty much the whole time. <laughs> you just see him constantly bouncing off base of shield here. Yeah, and Goma not afraid to hang out on the ledge there if he has to. Good parry. Not going to get anything out of it, though. Nope. Drop C4. Yep, on mm -hmm. that center platform there. Up till giving case of some stage control here. Grenade coming through, doing quite a bit of damage there. Yep. But yeah, I'm expecting this lineup to be solidly reds and purples by the end of this match. <laughs> Assuming that uh, Roma doesn't just chuck the reds away. Yeah, definitely going to go a long way for him in this matchup. Up tilt though, going to take that stock. Almar's still pretty light, man. Yeah. And I mean, when you're able to constantly blow him up and get that damage over time, it's only just a matter of time before you can actually get that up tilt and kill. Yeah, up tilt looking nicer than most characters up smashes. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> We're going to take that, though. Goma getting the stock. Yep. You're not even looking like Smash 4. Yeah, I mean, both these characters are just so good at racking up that damage from a long distance. Grabs him for the up smash. Looking for F-Tilt, but get it. Goma's still going to opt for throwing Pikmin. Gets hit by the C4, though. And now offstage for the jab. Yeah, he's have been doing a good job of avoiding getting the Pikmin latched onto him. Wow, that's even hard to tell who was, what was going on there. <laughs> Welcome to projectile matches. Man, yeah, 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 all these projectile matches. Oh, wow, up tilt though. Gonna take that stock. Casey now at a pretty comfy lead. Sitting away yeah. at 41%. Yeah, who let all these zoners come in to smash ultimate and just dominate? <laughs> Pikmin actually tanking the Nikita there. It's going to be nice not having to worry too much about that move. Already, though, Kesev definitely finding his way to lapping Goma here pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, every time Goma's gotten in, it's been a trade. So this has definitely been working out in Kesev's favor here. C4 on deck. Yep, Pikmin just going right over it. Up smash? Wow, that was a weird angle. Look for up air? Oh, no. I thought he had that for a second. The back are going to take oh, that, though, out of the out of the uh, uppy. Yep. Too uh, much end lag. Wow. We also have to talk about how we need to ban wireless controllers because they it messed up our overlay. Really? Did it? How? Because uh, now they're player two and three, which means they're blue and yellow instead of oh. red and blue. Oh, ban you, pro controllers. Well, yep. you, you I don't want to hear ducks. God, ban them. Ban them. <laughs> <laughs> Got a vendetta against pro controllers. If you, uh, you can actually just uh, deselect. Go back to the uh, smash menu and deselect the uh, fake controllers. news. That's fake news. I don't know why they're not doing it. You press press minus right now, and then now you have red and blue. Just case would just take over red. Fake news. That's all he needs to do. Hit that minus button. That's all he gotta do. Nope. See, see that one over there next to Snake? That little. Nah, little, make Gucci upset. We'll do with the minus. There you go. Keep Gucci upset. All right, we'll keep yellow and blue. Hashtag Gushi sad. Yes. <laughs> What's wrong with yellow and blue anyways? What do you got against yellow? 
Look at the overlay. It's red and blue. It's not blue and yellow. Dude, you got Mich you got U of M colors going on. What's wrong with that? That kind of makes it pop more. It's funny because Goma goes Michigan State. <laughs> oh. I'm a Michigan got State him. alum, though, so I, I definitely uh, prefer the... There should be a green. Wait, there should be a white overlay for green. You know, Michigan or Michigan Dearborn. Oh, uh, Goma? Yeah. Uh, he goes Michigan State, not Michigan. Oh, but Case have, I believe went to Michigan Dearborn, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it makes sense he got yellow. Yeah. It's funny though, because like whenever you talk to somebody from Michigan, you always want to follow it up with the uh, main campus or Dearborn, because a lot of the Dearborn graduates will try and pass themselves off as main campus. Wow, that, that grenade there, stopping the back throw. Yep. Goma Mario just looking unstoppable, man. It, it, it's going on a tear. I mean, it's just such a polar opposite from his Olimar. I mean, if Mario wasn't going to er, sorry, if Olimar wasn't going to do it, then Mario comes out and definitely get the job done so far. Yeah. Uh, I mean, his Mario was pretty insane in, uh, in Smash 4, too. Yeah. And to see what it's become in Smash Ultimate, I'm looking forward to seeing his meta develop with this character. Definitely. Looking for back throw. Oh. Case of baiting out the grab. Yep, recognizing what Goma was looking for, but it back air coming from Goma there. I swear it looks so much like Dr. Mario's back airs from Smash 4. Just how many he's able to throw out so quickly. Oh. I'll tell it's still not enough to kill there. Yep, can throw out another one, so I'm not gonna quite get a kill off of it. Yep. Imagine next one's probably gonna do it. Uh, I don't think it's scaled too hard. No. Dang the fireball. Not too far out of Case's reach here, he just needs to get the stock off without taking too much more damage. Yep. Down throw. Down, yep, down throw after. Yeah, Goma not able to get out of that situation quick enough. Down throw low key kinda busted when you think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it basically gives you a free punish. Like, even if they tech, it's like, oh, I can react to it. Yeah, you can still tech Over 160, I think it is. You just get a free up tilt. Yep. Very smart there, I guess, have shielding, letting the, letting the grenade do the work for him. Yeah, I That's mean, just his use of those grenades is so crucial in this matchup. Oh, no. no. Welcome to the new Dreamland. Dude, I'm telling you, ban it. <laughs> ban it. Give us PS1. It looks at least a little better. How is it better? Legends, I, I mean, the legends are just slightly old. Like, they're easier to play around. Uh, you still get the little weird bonk thing, I believe, when you try to air down the ledge. But yeah. Regardless, so Goma looking at that stock there. He's down, but he's not out. Yeah. Oh, and then those situations too. Platform down throws. Oh no. Up tilt. And he's still living. A couple more of those up tilts. We've got Snake at Rage. It's gonna be curtains in the X tilt though. Yep. Dang. Snake just putting on so much damage there with any of his moves. Yeah. He has the first options. Good tilts. Definitely a solid character in that matchup, but Goma making Mario look nice. Yeah, I mean, he started off strong, but once K7 was able to start getting the rhythm and figure out how to slow him down,